In today's video, I'll be going over five reasons why your AI content is not ranking on Google. The first reason why your AI written content is not ranking on Google is because you haven't primed or prompted the article correctly. AI content definitely ranks on Google. As you can see, this is an article that I wrote using AI completely, and it's ranking number one on Google. It was a brand new website, and it's outranked competitors for this specific keyword. So you can definitely rank content on Google if you have written it using the AI writer, but you just need to know how to do so. So number one is that you need to prime and prompt your AI properly. If we take a look at any of the articles that I have created using the playground mode or even any of the articles that I've created on this channel, I've always made it a point to make sure that I'm prompting and priming my AI. So priming essentially just tells the AI what is the outcome in which we're going after. So for example, this is a fact checked article, a more factual article. So I tell the AI that you're an expert blog post writer. You specialize in writing in-depth, engaging and factually accurate blog posts about the topic at hand. Right. And if we actually go ahead and take a look at some of my other articles, such as the Amazon product comparison, I tell it again that you are a high quality Amazon blog post writer. You compare multiple products for users to choose from when writing an Amazon product roundup included these things in mind. And I told it what I wanted it to include to make sure that it's writing the best Amazon blog post. So again, I'm priming the AI. I'm priming the system and telling it exactly what the outcome is that I'm trying to get. And I'm also feeding it information and telling it what are some of the best practices that it needs to follow when it's writing this type of content. I do the same for SEO optimized content. I feed SEO writing tips. I feed on page SEO writing recommendations and things that the AI needs to follow in order to write the best possible content. So I recommend that you prime the AI as much as you can. You feed it as much information as you can about your brand, about the way that you write, about you know what the outcome is that you're trying to get from that specific article. And usually your results are going to be a lot better. So that's number one, which is priming. Number two is prompting. So prompting essentially just means um, the prompts in which you give the AI to get the outputs in which you're going after. So the quality of your inputs or the quality of your prompts directly relates to the quality of the outputs which you get back from the AI. So I always recommend prompting the AI very, very in depth. So telling it exactly what you want and telling it um, when you're generating content, I recommend that you generate the outline first. Once you generate the outline, then you can generate the full article. The reason why you want to generate the outline first is because then the AI will be able to focus on that one task, right? Sometimes the AI, if you tell us to generate an outline and write the full article, it's doing too many things and maybe your article isn't going to be as in depth. So you need to tell it to generate a outline first. And then from that outline, you can then prompt it to generate the full article. I'll leave some of my most popular prompts in the description below. Also, if you want to check out exactly how you can write AI rating content that will rank on Google, check out my AI mastery course. It is a paid course, but it's really, really good. It's currently in beta, so you can get it at a discounted rate. If you want to check out that paid course, I'll leave a link for that in the description below, or you can watch any of my free content on this YouTube channel. So that's number one, which is priming and prompting. Number two is going to be the generation technique in which you're using. So as I mentioned before, I always generate an outline first, and then I tell the AI to generate the full um, the full article. But what I do is I don't actually tell it to just generate the full article at once, because again, you can get kind of short um, content. If you take a look at my prompt here, I tell it to write each section individually, starting with the first section, and then I will tell you when to move on. So what I'm doing here, I'm telling the AI to write first the introduction, then after you've written the introduction, then move on to the first H1, which is understanding AI's role in accounting for this specific article, then move on to the second H1, third H1, and so on. Now, when you do this method, I find that you're able to get much, much more in-depth content because again, you're giving the AI a specific task. It knows that it needs to write just only on this specific section. So it's a little bit more in-depth and it's able to write a lot higher quality. So as you can see here, it will write that first section and then you can tell it when to move on and it will move on to the second section and then you can just tell it to continue writing and it will continue until the end of the article. But overall, once you put this article together, you get a very, very in-depth article. You get a much longer article than you would get if you just told it to write the full article at once. And you can always expand the article and add things to it as you like. But again, as you can see here, these are all going to be lists. These are going to be bolded words. It's well formatted, it's easy to read, and it's very skimmable. And it's also following the best SEO practices because you primed the AI before. 
When you follow this method, you're able to elevate your AI written content, which increases the likeliness of your content ranking compared to someone else who used AI because they may have just went to ChatGPT and told it to write an article about this topic and didn't really do any prompting, any of the manual generation, which I showed you and um, just get a very basic article. When you follow this method, you're able to get a much, much better article using AI. So this leads into the third reason why your AI written content may not be ranking on Google, and that is not including enough tables, lists, charts, visual data, links, and images within your content. As you can see in this example here, if we actually go ahead and we convert this into Markdown, so let's actually go ahead and do that very quickly for just one of these sections here, we can see we can see that when we convert this, we can see that we're getting lists, the words are bolded, um, we're getting links as well too within this article. So you need to prompt the AI to make sure that you're including tables, charts, lists, um, if it can include bolded words, if it can also include links, that is a great, great um, signal to Google and a great way for you to rank your article because your article is not going to be just blobs of words, it's going to include um, tables, charts, and links, which is all good ranking factors. Again, all you have to do is prime the AI correctly, like I did within this prompt to tell it to include titles, to include tables, to include lists, to include bolded words, and also to include links to relevant, high quality, high authoritative websites, the AI will be able to do so. And again, this elevates your content and increases the likeliness of you ranking this article on Google. If you're using the playground mode, you do not have the ability to generate images directly, but what you can do is you can tell the AI to give you ideas for images in which you can create and insert within this article and the AI will give you ideas. And then what you can do is you can pop those ideas into um, ChatGPT using Dolly and then Dolly will actually be able to create those images for you. You can also ask it for ideas on how to visualize data and then you can take that prompt, pop it into ChatGPT, and then ChatGPT will create that visual data for you. I've done a couple of videos on this before, so I'll link those in the description below. I also go over everything that I mentioned in today's video a lot more in depth um, in my paid course. If you want to check that out again, that will be in the description below. So that's the third reason why your content may not be ranking. Number four is that your content may not be SEO formatted. So that's why I recommend using prompts and using primers like what I did within this article to tell the AI what it needs to do in order to write SEO optimized content. We can't just tell the AI to write this article following the best SEO practices because the AI may not know exactly what those practices are. So what I've done is to create this prompt, I just Googled some of the best SEO on page writing practices. I copied it over and I just pasted it within the system, right? So as you can see, it's a lot of content here. The more, the better, because the AI will then be able to take that information and figure out how it needs to write its content, how it needs to format its H1, how it needs to format its H2, how it needs to include the keyword or the target keyword in which you're going after and variations of that keyword throughout the article. So when you do this, you're able to you're able to get a little bit ahead of the curve in terms of SEO optimization. You probably will always have to do a little bit of manual SEO optimization, but this gives you a little bit of a boost in terms of your SEO score, and then you can then do some manual touches on your content. But a reason why your content may not be ranking is because maybe it's not well formatted. You need to have your H1s, your H2s, your H3s included within your article because that is how Google will be able to understand what your article is about. So that's the fourth reason. The fifth reason why your content may not be ranking is because maybe your DR is too low and the competition level is too high for that specific keyword. So I can talk all day about how to create the best AI rating content, but if your website has a low DR or if your website doesn't have a lot of content on it, it's going to be very hard for you to rank for a specific keyword. That's why knowing how to write AI content isn't the only thing that you need to do. You need to be able to do proper keyword research and be able to assess the competition level for that specific keyword and figure out whether or not your website can actually rank for that specific keyword. I use Ahrefs and Rank IQ to find keywords. And when I'm using both of those tools, I always try to find keywords that have a low competition. So for Ahrefs, it's going to be anything less than 10. And then for um, Rank IQ, I try to find keywords that are very fast to rank for. This is especially true if you're a new website because it's going to be harder for you to rank for those keywords. You wanna go for those low hanging fruits. So you wanna find keywords that are going to be easy to rank for, but then you also want to find keywords that are specific for your website. Let's say for example, you have a website in the AI space. You don't want to just go ahead and write content around anything in AI because it's gonna be a very general website. Instead of writing about general topics within the AI space, you wanna start by writing on a specific subtopic within that niche. Let's say for example, LLMs, which is large language models, essentially that's ChatGPT 
that is Anthropic's Claude, that is Google's, or sorry, Twitter's Grok, all of these large language models, you can write content all around these large language models and find keywords that are related to these um, models and you will be able to build authority within that space, right? You'll be, you'll be able to build topical authority because Google will see that you're not writing about AI um, video makers or you're not writing about AI tools and softwares or you're not writing about AI in some specific industry. You're writing about a specific subcategory of AIs, which is LLMs, and you're writing a lot of content, at least 100 articles first when you're getting started on that topic. That will allow you to build topical authority. Google will know exactly what your article or what your website is about, which will increase the likeness of you being able to rank for that specific keyword. So when you combine doing proper keyword research and properly approaching your website with these methods that I mentioned in today's video, you will have no problem ranking your AI content. I've done it myself and I've seen countless amount of other people do it themselves as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, stay well.